I rode the double decker bus today, which is awesome. Um, when I worked at AET, the other interns were working on implementing the double decker bus. They were measuring the shop veranda height to make sure that the bus doesn't hit the, um, veranda, the overhanging verandas. That was in 2014. Got an exciting evening tonight, I'm just about to pack for it. So I'm going to um, an evening photography course with um, Three Little Wishes Photography. We are meeting up at, um, you know, a sales restaurant kind of by the southern end of the Harbour Bridge. My auntie, she got me a camera as well, a DSLR. Um, I use a Canon 600D. This one here, so I got this, I think it was five years ago, and I'm still learning how to use it. I think it was like only last year or yeah last year or the year before the transition from automatic mode to manual <laughs> so a couple of nights ago i wanted to take a picture of a sign that was lit up but the rest of the restaurant was really dim and i was having trouble setting up my camera and it took like 10 minutes and i still didn't get a good photo so i was like all right i'm gonna do a photography course and so i'm going to this one tonight it's really good to just like play around with um the camera settings to try and get a good photo but for me to be able to play around with it I need to know like where to start with first you know um, so and I don't really have time when I am traveling to play around you know the um, the window of opportunity is quite short I'm just gonna change my lens. Like I don't even know what lens to take, you know. Um, I have the 18 to 135 millimeter, which was a stock lens that the camera came with. I have the other stock lens, which is the 1855, and then I have the one I recently bought, which is the prime lens to 24 mil. And I don't know which one would be good, so I'm gonna take all three of them tonight. I bought this little um, like wetsuit material pencil case from Daiso to store my lenses in when I am traveling. My lenses, I've got a fully charged battery pack. Got a spare battery. Got a remote. Has my tripod. Got this for like 20 bucks on Trade Me. I've got an SD card that I keep in my wallet. And the SD card is empty so I can take heaps of photos. Excited for this little photography trip. Hope my photos turn out good and hope that it's not too cold. Hope it doesn't rain as well because that will just ruin it. Gonna put it in my backpack. Bear lenses. So in LA they've just opened up the observatory deck on the um, US Bank Tower. They opened it up like two months ago I think so it's fairly new. Um, and it's on the 70th floor and I'm gonna get a ticket that will grant me entry twice in 24 hours so I can take photos of the city in the day and then come back during like sunset or at night take photos of the city at night which will be amazing so that is pretty much like one of the main reasons that I'm taking this course because I've only got like a few I think it's timed entry when I'm there so I don't have much time to be like fiddling around and I read on the website that tripods are not loud so I need to learn how to take night photography without a tripod. Hope I learn lots tonight. I'll take you guys with me. Okay so I'm at the car park where they told us to meet but I don't know who I'm meeting or exactly where like the spot is because there are a couple of cars here but there's no one in the cars and there's no one around. Um, so uh, <laughs> I'm just gonna see who comes out of their car. I'm just getting ready to go out for the day. It's Saturday and it is currently 10.45 I think so I'm going to leave in 15 minutes. I'm going to um, walk with because my friend 
She lives in Whangarei and her parents have just moved to Walkworth, so I'm meeting my friend there. Um, this is the friend that I made in like primary school when I first came to New Zealand when I was like eight years old. I'm meeting her boyfriend as well. I haven't met him before and so quite exciting. I realized that I haven't um, like met anyone's boyfriend for the first time in years. Like yeah, it's, it's always been like I'm friends with the guy and I'm friends with the girl and then they started dating rather than one of my girlfriends being like meet my new boyfriend kind of thing. So Walkworth is only about an hour north of Auckland I found out when I um, took a trip to Whangarei like once or twice a month when I was in school. Um, it felt like Walkworth was ages out of Auckland. I guess it's because it's like the first kind of like major town north of Auckland maybe but I looked it up and it's only supposed to take an hour drive we're gonna have lunch there and then um, see her family's new farm man yesterday I was so tired I woke up feeling tired um, I had lunch out um, at a cafe while I was editing my blog and a makeup video and then I came home and I was just like I'm gonna rest today but I started looking at bikes online because I want to buy a bike and I want to um, use it as a way to get fit. Okay, that's makeup done. I'm just going to get my bag ready and we're going to start driving. Taking a short break in Oriwa. I'm with Hayley, Kirsten and Benno. Had a nice meet up with my friend. We had lunch with her sister and her new boyfriend and that was really lovely getting to know her new man. Um, and then afterwards we went to her parents farm nearby and her grandma was there too, um, which was a pleasant surprise. Love their family, um, known them for we figured it out 15 years now. Just have some really pleasant memories with all of them. Now I'm in Oriwa just taking a look at the little town. But you know Walkworth isn't um, as small as I remembered it to be. Of course the last time I was there was when I was in like high school. But the town's actually flourished now. There's like a Bunnings and a nice countdown and they've upgraded some of the roads. <laughs> basically all of the roads but that intersection which is so dangerous it's such a bad intersection today is one of my friend's birthday and so in a walk with i stopped by and got her some chocolates from chocolate brown and i got my other friend a little something something as well a really great day i really enjoyed it tomorrow is sunday what day is it father's day Happy Sunday! Happy Sunday! Oh my! <laughs> Please keep driving. <laughs> I'm with Michelle. We're on a. Can we you use one. both hands on the steering wheel? No, I'll be I'll fine. fine. I'll be fine. Oh I'll God. be fine. We're on our way to the French market at in Parnell. In Parnell, La Cigale. La De partir n'importe où, bras dessus, bras dessous, en chantant des chansons. C'est si bon de se dire des mots doux, des petits rien de tout, mais qui en disent long. C'est bon de goûter dans ses yeux un espoir merveilleux qui donne le présent. C'est si bon ces petites sensations, ça vaut mieux qu'un million. C'est tellement tellement bon. 